Wanna know my sin of the day? Mac Velvet Teddy. You're welcome. We ready to get into that thing. Outfit of the day. Slight work for work, nothing crazy. Sin of the day, Mac Velvet Teddy. Every single day Welcome back to Uncommon Sense, where we talk about all things fragrance, fashion, style, lifestyle, and travel. Today's video is going to focus on a fragrance review ride along. And this fragrance actually is one I've had in my collection for a little bit of time. So I'm getting around to reviewing more of my fragrances that I've not actually taken the time to review because I've covered them other places. But to be thorough and document our fragrance journey, we're going to Make sure that we get everything in the collection. If you're into that type of content, make sure that you stick around. Check the technique. If you like what you see, definitely consider becoming a subscriber. Leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you think because I use all feedback that is love and feedback for the betterment of our channel. So today's fragrance is gonna focus on a fragrance that is typically marketed toward women. Mac Velvet Teddy. Now, Mac Velvet Teddy is a fragrance that I feel bears some closer resemblance and it gets comparison to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini. Let me just say it off top. With that being said, this fragrance is still its own fragrance. I'm one of the individuals that definitely feels like fragrance and gender are tertiary guidelines at the bare minimum. It's a fragrance that I've had to get used to over time. I usually spray it on and let it die down before I can start to really enjoy it. And I actually don't really care for fragrances that I have to do that with. Just for the simple fact, I feel like I should be able, able to enjoy my fragrances all the time. Not all fragrances are like that. This one is actually more along the lines of a niche, if I should say. Not necessarily in terms of price or quality. I believe it is more in line with the market of what a niche fragrance would be. Just spread some arms, as we did already put some on. I actually don't see many women wanting to smell like this. To me, it actually leans a bit masculine. Does it smell good? Yeah, once it dries down, it does. A lot of tobacco in this fragrance. And it's a rougher tobacco with a little bit of a leathery the hitting hint. We get honey. I'm gonna y'all leave a note right now for you for the individuals who are into that. I usually don't like the scent of honey, so this one takes me a little bit of wear before I can start to uh, enjoy it. Right off the rip, loads of like pipe tobacco. It legit smells like to me back in the day. Walgreens used to sell pipe tobacco in like packages, like big, big, big bags. Section of Walgreens that smelled similar to this to me. And only the nicer Walgreens had them too. So you, not the hood ones. You went to the hood was the pipe tobacco wasn't up front. It, was, it wasn't just out, it was back behind the counter. So maybe you didn't smell it until you went in toward the register. But I feel like this fragrance to me, on me, is probably more appropriate for a date night. I don't know if I would classify it as an office safe scent. For me, just preference wise, I wouldn't want to be associated with like a cigar or whiskey or boozy fragrances to be at the office just because I work in a highly corporate environment and I don't want that impression to precede me. 
makes sense. That would be my only reason why I would say probably not work safe sense. But I'm wearing it into the office. Not me. Y'all be safe though. <laughs> um, it's probably more apt for a date night. This could be also a great bedtime fragrance because it is cozy. But well, once you cozy up too, and I can see women liking the scent of this, probably not on themselves, probably their partner. I don't know. I haven't smelled this on the one before. But on me, I feel like it smells good as well. So I'm a little biased. I got this one. When Macy's had a friends and family sale, I think I paid like 20% off or something like that. I think it was worth the price and it kind of sits closer to the skin. And I'm wondering, there are only a few fragrances that perform enormously on me, have a large Centrale, large Siage, etc. And I'm wondering if it is my skin because I am a little drier and I have to use a lot of moisturizer. So. Um, it could just be me. I wonder if anybody else has this fragrance out there. Drop in the comments. Let me know how this one performs on you. Price point is good. The scent is different enough. I really enjoy it in that realm. If you're looking for an alternative to Tom Ford's Tobacco Lean, there's your guy. Um, I think where this one just differs a little bit is it has that honeyed scent versus the vanilla played all the way up. And I kind of get a leather vibe from it. Not harsh leather, just it has a leathery texture and scent, if that makes, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't believe I'm gonna replace or liquidate this one. Um, but anything can happen as I acquire new fragrances and rotate ones that I'm not wearing off and out, may or may not stay. I feel like right now, is the best time to wear it. I would definitely wear it to like hayride, pumpkin patch, etc. That's honestly what I feel like I'm giving. Very much hayride, apple picking, or drinking apple cider and whatnot. So it doesn't project a whole lot. It's just a lot closer to the skin. And it smells good on the skin. It kind of has an apple cider-ish vibe, warm apple cider like that. Um, I don't think there's any apple in it. If you ever tasted an apple, crisp apple, Throw some cinnamon on it. Gives you that kind of vibe. Do I think Mac Velvet Teddy is worth money? I do. I feel like individuals who are in their scent journey could find a plausible use for this fragrance, especially as you start to develop different tastes. I think this one is very different. I don't believe a lot of people have this. I'm trying to think who suggested this one to me. I think it was Big Beer Biz. Shout out to Big Beer Business on that one. I didn't think I was going to like it, but it grew on me. This is one of those fragrances to me. For me, I like to spray on and actually let sit for a bit before I start to enjoy it. Well, I kind of have to. Um, I like to spray it on before I leave the house, probably about 30 or so minutes. And then after about that time frame, it dries down enough where I can begin to enjoy it. That's gonna do it for me for now, okay? Talk soon.